Okay, hello everyone. So I'm gonna uh, do a quick analysis of um, the first game I played in the World Hive Championship 2024 against the Panzo, just played this morning, um, hopefully in less than 10 minutes. So let's go. I was playing black, um, didn't prepare very well, but I think I know enough how the Panzo plays. I was trying here um, to have, keep the path open for uh, um, another uh, another kind of uh, opening where you put the queen um, in, um, in an elbow with the other queen, so sharing two spaces. Um, but unfortunately, um, or uh, well, it's not clear if actually this is a good opening for black or not, but I think white many times um, prefers to avoid this issue um, and that is what Stepan did just uh, playing a piece here to control that spawn point and now I have two choices mainly two choices um, I need to place the queen right so I can place it here and be in a Z opening um, but with the pill bug uh, in, a, um, in a with a proximity pill bug in the elbow um, which seems a bit risky but uh, I've played this before and I don't mind it too much or uh, playing the queen here and this is um, uh, what we call buffer right but uh, probably a bit more safe since the pill bug and the mosquito are both next to the queen um, there are other probably other possibilities trying to play um, buffer on the other side or maybe go for even something a bit more crazy um, but not very common so um, let's go actually for what I played and was this so I, I went for the Z opening um, I like this structure because you can still keep a pocket and the pill bug is a proximity pill bug. Um, you might be a, a bit risky in the beginning, but if you manage to defend, then um, it's quite okay. Um, white decide not to attack straight away with the queen. I mean, you, you could do it, but um, definitely black has enough um, ant power to defend against the direct attack. Um, so I think... Uh, uh, step on choice was sensible um i went still on with uh nant here I have two defenders um white also has two ants and now uh, there's always a um, kind of a problem <laughs> for um for black trying to understand what is worth to pin um getting the mosquito out would leave would leave um will uh, leave to white the chance to actually break the pocket so i decided to just use the ant to to pin the other ant there's no really way to pin the mosquito anyway um because if, if black plays if black moves here then the white mosquito is still uh, free to move through the door and at the same time um the mosquito can also use build back power to move the ant away so i would have to anchor the ant uh, to not get it Mm, warp away so just complicated i think uh, um i went for the um, for the easier uh choice um white puts another place another um ant in play uh and now i decided to go for this i wasn't really sure what uh, to do at this point um i want i um my idea is to use this pill bug potentially offensively um, but I still have to figure out how to place uh, more pieces and um, and where because white has got two free ants basically right so if I place another ant I will just basically sacrifice a third ant I'm not sure if it's um, if it's a good idea at least I don't want to do it immediately um, the last ant is I think is a typical problem um, so what's the point of placing an ant if I know it's going to be pinned? Initially makes sense because you have other ants to compensate for that. But I, now I don't have more ants. This is the last ant, right? So um, maybe placing a beetle straight away here. But the idea of this move is to, well, first of all, prepare um, the um, placing of uh, like the placement of the beetle here. Uh, at the same time, this um, hopper uh, creates an anti-spawn formation. And, and uh, Hopper can potentially even jump here and create some, some, some issues, some chaos. 
Havoc, but um, well, so White decides to pin the hopper before uh, creates any problem. Uh, now I go for the Beetle. Um, notice that it's not technically a pocket because it can still be pinned. Um, but first of all, I give the Mosquito also Beetle power. Um, and uh, the Beetle as well can potentially move on. It's more a defensive Beetle, but it could become aggressive as well if um, if white gives um, black enough time. So white decided to pin the beetle straight away, but I was prepared for that. Of course, the mosquito goes on top of the same beetle with the idea of shutting down the white mosquito and then covering it. Um, and I felt quite uh, okay here. The beetle the, um, spawned here with the idea of attacking straight away into the... Um, um, into the, the kill spot. Usually it's not a good idea because uh, the ladybug would get free in this elbow, but in this case, the ladybug is in this bi-directional pin, so actually it makes sense. I play this with the idea of freeing the ladybug from the bi-directional pin, so now I can move the ladybug away. But I kind of noticed that it's still, still dangerous. Now I have to move, right? Well, I could move the beetle away, but there is no space where I really want to have it. If, if it goes here, it will just cover it back. Um, I, I, just, I really don't want two pieces to be blocked at once. Uh, if I go here, I, I let the ladybug get free, basically. Uh, and now it's very hard for, um, for me to defend. I think I don't have time to defend against this threat. Um, so um, I decide to go for moving the ladybug, which immobilized the beetle at the same time. That's the main idea. But where? I fought for a long time and then I went for this move with the idea also to free uh, this hopper, right? So um, this, is the, this is one of the main ideas. The problem is that the mosquito also got ladybug uh, power. Uh, White decided to attack straight away, but I think a better move would have been this probably. Uh, now the mosquito is also converted into a beetle. Um, sure, uh, black also has a beetle here. Uh, it doesn't have to worry too much for the time being, but um, but uh, white has definitely the upper end. Um, well, maybe not attacking from here, but attacking from here, for example. Um, black has to move this beetle away somehow, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know, it doesn't feel too safe for me. Um, but actually, I step on the side to attack straight away. And uh, um, at the beginning, I felt I was actually, I blundered, but um, but I managed to stay calm, <laughs> uh, cold blood and uh, defend. The thing is that I have two uh, good defenders here, Beetle and Hopper, and the Pillbug in a proximity position. And I just cover a mosquito, and this beetle is pinned. So if if I manage to make sure that there are no white beetles on top of the hive, then I think I will be fine. Uh, here uh, he could have also play actually played another be uh, beetle here, but then the hopper would have pinned it. Uh, he could have played a beetle here, but I think using the beetle here, uh, mm, moving the beetle here will make sure that uh, my my beetle can cover the opponent beetle. Um, so I will mark the territory. Um, so uh, I'm not sure what's the best move for white here, but uh, this kind of makes sense. At least he threatened to win, right? But it's, but as I said, I have two um, um, defending pieces. So uh, it, here it doesn't really matter if I cover my own queen. Normally it's not a good idea because the pillbug cannot uh, rescue the queen anymore. But in this case, I don't have a, a pillbug next to it any, anyway. In a proximity position, I just want to make sure I can de defend uh, warping away one of these two pieces at uh, the north, east, and west. Um, okay, so white keeps placing more uh, pieces, but notice that all these uh, two empty sp um, kill spots are actually trigger points. That's the that's the, the good thing, right? Whenever if white um, uh, goes into this spot, um, the um, the black hopper can move away. Uh, and if white goes into this pot, the beetle can move away. Um, so white decide to uh, place another beetle. I just want to show what happens if uh, white attacks straight away. Um, is um, like attacking 
this way just free basically my pieces um and uh yeah or maybe no i say even this way okay we can keep it this way so i think it's a it's a good uh good position for uh for black um but uh probably the cure is worse than the disease so what uh, white played was um placing another beetle which i think is a mistake because i can shift the pin and now um i'm not only pinning an ant i also pinning a beetle right so it's a two for one pin plus i have this idea of feel of completing this ring uh which will free this ant as well if i manage to do that which is what i've done later on so now it's time for the other ants to come in um i could have played something else but i wanted to force basically the white ant to to do something i want the mosquito to go down right at the same time um at the same time the white mosquito uh, to be blocked in this bidirectional pin so this ring is good for me um white keeps attacking but again i have this two defender here um the another interesting move that i was considering is this i actually don't know if this would work uh because it seems like so if the um, the idea was that if the ladybug attacks somewhere here um it doesn't have uh, actually a way to build this other spot very the last kill spot very easily so i always have the chance later on to uh, warp the ladybug away using the pill bug um, and then if the ladybug moves somewhere else then i could just move my queen away and then rescue and then just move the, the black queen away using the pill bug so that was good for me probably but uh, i went for something even more safe just trying to cover everything that could have been dangerous i mean um, covering this this hopper is not a problem um although this hopper could have pinned this ant as well so but the main point is actually to to cover the mosquito and uh, to keep the mosquito next to the beetle so also the mosquito could have beetle power and uh, jump out later like climb later so at this point white realized actually that uh, things were tougher than it seemed and uh, it just moved away the ant just trying to keep back some control but at this point i really like my position i also have more material i have four pieces in reserve plus i just free now um, an ant uh, and i have a ladybug here two beetles on top it's quite i have quite good control so um at the very least i think i have a draw here um but now i'm definitely trying to play for a win i also have a bit more time on the clock um so I create another ring with the idea of freeing the mosquito or potentially move the move the pill bug away as well um, now white is trying to create a ring to free these two hoppers which are blocked there so i did this so that uh, if white creates the the ring i can break it in a more favorable way for example like this um so what i did yeah well, i played this um uh, white decided to pin my hopper which not a big deal actually um playing the hopper here frees both the mosquito and the, like either the mosquito or the ladybug actually um fine i also have the option of moving the hopper and somewhere else using the pill bug um i decided to move the pill bug down so that my queen would be actually free for real and uh, no any problem any no problem anymore look at my queen how how <laughs> how happy it is um now there's a bit of dance here while white is trying to free the beetle underneath but i keep it covered um it's time for this mosquito actually to march and uh, attack uh not yet i use the pillbug power to move the spider away and now yes now it's time to um, pin the the queen at the same time also um, notice that he will pin at least two white pieces here right um so it's a good um it's a good trade for me like try to stretch the opponent position or take advantage of when the position of your opponent is stretched and pin on the other side this is one of the main ideas i mean I, um, probably the position for black was good anyway but try to create another ring um but now i think i can just march with my beetle not straight away yet but uh, i have enough control that i could go for a zutzwang um 
and then force that beetle to move away. Now I'm, I do a pin replacement and decide to block it, but um, now I have also and the control of the last ant. Basically, uh, white doesn't have any more pieces available, so sooner or later it will have to move this beetle or keep moving. Oops, sorry, or keep moving the um, so this position, keep moving the spider around, but not much choice. So I just went on, keep sure that make sure that the white queen is locked in there, cannot move, and then start to uh, surround the queen. Um, I need to use um, another piece, plus uh, the ant here will take the, the kill shot. So I just went in, um, and now, oops, sorry, I have to go all around, and now uh, after after white covers and one beetle left the other beetle. So, okay, hope you liked it, and um, I will try to comment it on other games as well. As I, as I go on in the, in the World Cup. Um, see you next time. Bye.